In this episode of Sailing Nanji, we deal with some heavy weather and change course to a pristine anchorage. Nanji is attacked by the Black Plague of Mold. We meet Billy who shows us some custom headhunting artifacts and Marley gets up to some mischief. of luxury and sleeping on land, it was time to get on the move again and try to reach Gizo in the coming days. The weather was still stormy, wet and we had unpredictable winds. A perfect introduction back to yacht life. Nearly at our anchorage, we might need to uh, curl up to Sadie with this wind. Keep going for a bit, so I'm going fast. <laughs> we went to anchor at Noro, and uh, the anchorage it doesn't have a very good holding. There's reef on one side and reef and the villages on the other side, and uh, then this like storm blew in, so we thought, no, we can't. So we had to um, like motor out through this skinny passage. There's just there's reef on either side of the boat. The boat just squeezes through it. So like with the rain and then the wind, and we couldn't see you properly. And Josh is like yelling at me. But yeah, we managed to get out without scraping the boat and um, yeah, not sure where we're going to go now. We're going to try and find a better anchorage because if we, we had like a 40 knot squall last night that kicked through so if anything like that happens here we would definitely end up um, probably in at someone's house. So We don't want that. No, we don't want that. So we're off to find a better place to hide. It's an entrance way here. entrance now it's a really thick scrub that's going on really dense uh, forest and this bay was protected by the Japanese in World War II there's four big guns at their entrance like like guns uh, <laughs> um, and yeah there's meant to be another one down here somewhere so uh, we can't find the ones up the front but we might be able to find the one in here but um, yeah and there's a volcano Just 10 nautical miles north of Noro, on the island of Kulambangara, we spotted this cove on the charts. A perfect place to hide from any weather. You don't want fish? I'll give you some fish for dinner. You don't want fish? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, we got lots of fish, we yeah. Lots of mackerel. Too much for us. Yeah. Spanish mackerel. Yeah. Mackerel. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have we have lots. Okay. When was it it was caught yes yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> have a good dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so blessed to be able to sail the Solomon Islands. I feel like it's a place that's been forgotten by the rest of the world. It's just that time has not affected it. People still live the way that they always have. The landscape is untouched. It's beautiful. There's fresh air. There's trees everywhere. There's life. Um, and people are so friendly and kind. And there's an innocence here. Um, 
and yeah I just it's just such a special place and I, there's not many places like this left in the world and I just feel so grateful to be able to come here and experience it and uh, share it with you guys He's staring you down. He is. Stare the camera in the down. Pecking order here, eh? Hey, Melly. Yosh just traded some hooks for some fruit. I have never seen one of these before. I don't know what it is. I thought it was like a grapefruit, but I don't know. Um, and they said it tastes like an orange. I don't know if it's ripe or not. I didn't ask them, but I just gotta see what it is and taste it. I probably should have asked a few more questions. <laughs> It kind of doesn't look ripe, does it? No. Mm, it definitely isn't ripe. <laughs> I think it might be a grapefruit. I don't know. I've never had grapefruit, but I've seen photos of them. It's like a yellow one. Like it has potential <laughs> to be a good fruit, but like... Is it sour or is it sweet? Mm. Bit of both. It's not ripe. Sharing a skinny channel with this guy. The following morning, we pushed on to reach Gizo, even though the weather was still a bit rowdy. A week on land had us determined to keep on the move. We've had a pretty crazy day of sailing today. We're trying to get up this channel, and uh, of course, we get hit by all these squalls uh, coming from the direction that we want to go. So at one point we got knocked to like 45 degrees. We had like a, a gust come through, um, but it was fun. I sailed all morning through all the squalls and the storms and um, yeah, we did lots of uh, sail changes and stuff, but it's been a very long time since I've sailed with wind. So it felt very unusual again to be um, on a lean and uh, dealing with those sorts of winds. So it was a very exciting morning. We saw our friends Farah coming uh, down the channel from the other direction so we decided to turn around. We were going backwards by the end anyway because the current was ripping through there so and the wind dropped out so yeah so we're going back to Noro. Our friends of Farah were heading back to Noro to check out of the Solomons and continue their journey west so we followed them back to bid our farewells. It's been very fun. Hope you guys don't get smoked. Goodbye, Farah. Today is the first sunny day that we've had in two weeks. We had a monsoon and then we had continuous rain. It seems that we've been um, attacked by the Black Plague. Everything has mold on it. Uh, there was no airflow through the boat um, and there was lots of moisture around. So I've got a big job ahead dealing with all of this. Look, our pillows. It's everywhere, on the roof, on the walls, on our clothes. There's lots of nasty chemicals out there that you can use to kill mold, but you can also use white vinegar and tea tree oil. White vinegar is fantastic at killing mold, eliminating around 80% of mold species. Tea tree oil is a natural fungicide and is effective at killing mold spores. With these two combined and a little bit of elbow grease, we have a natural, mold busting yacht cleaning machine. This is everything that has been affected so I have a huge washing job on my hands. <laughs> After scrubbing the roof and shampooing the walls it was now onto the clothes. Luckily only a few items of clothing had been badly affected by mold and most of the items just smelt like a used football sock. Not the best smell for trying to meet people and make friends. Well, the pillow is wider now, so you can see the mold better. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> That's about all that it's done. Show me the villa. The outdoor items were the worst affected, and I think it's time to try something a little bit stronger for those. This is what it's like doing washing in the Solomons. One minute, it's beautiful and sunny, so you put everything out. You wash everything, you put it all out of the deck and then it starts raining. So you really need to be on your toes. We just had like a huge sun shower after I just like pulled everything out of the boat and put it on the deck. So we had to pull it all back downstairs 
and uh, the sun is back out again now so I've got to pull it all out back up and then hang everything up again and then go from there. But <laughs> At Anchor in Noro, we met a man named Billy from a village in Vonovono Lagoon. He mentioned he had many cultural artifacts and of course we wanted to see them. So the following day, Billy returned with his relics. You're saying Nanji is, uh, has a meaning in, uh, in your own language? Yes, Nanji is um, Chaco. It means Chaco. Yes. In, in what language? Uh, Vela La Vela. Vela Vela. Is, is that local to Vona Vona Lagoon? Uh, that's a different island from Vona Vona Lagoon. Ah, yeah. yeah. But Billy has brought us some custom stones. They're over 200 years old, hey? You have to take us through what they are? Yes, uh, this statue is... Um, uh, they used to go and uh, do sacrifice uh, to protect the uh, garden, the crops. For the, yeah. for the crops for the year? For the year. Yeah. And you know, this uh, garden is, I mean, local food, they use it only uh, when there's a special feast occasion. Yeah, yeah yes. For the chief. Say for like, for like a wedding? Or wedding, wedding and uh, when they came back from head hunting. Yes. And they took them with some of the head or, yeah. or any, any people which are alive. Yes. And come back. They will do a sacrifice. I mean, celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah. And, they, they and that's that's that. that's the the garden, which this statue used to protect. The, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and what's the what's the name of the god? Tamasa Kopu. Which means to, to god of protection. Also. A god of protection. Yeah. yeah. This wow. one is for head hunting. Axe. They have different types of axe. They can put a huddle here. Yeah. And tie it with uh, custom rope. Yeah. Like, like coconut husk? Not coconut husk, but uh, there's a different uh, rope. Like to a, grow. Vine? Oh, yeah, a vine? A vine? Ah, yeah. oh, yes, yeah. Yes. Grow maybe like uh, four feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And oh. it's very strong, hey? It's very strong. Very strong. Is that specifically for head hunting? For head hunting. He just for head hunting? Yes. <laughs> So this one is for the uh, grinding the back of the tree to make uh, produce oil, you know. Mm -hmm. And you use the oil to cook? Oil sometimes. Um, for hair? For hair. Yeah. Long, yeah. Hair. yeah. 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 Like you, your hair. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. It, uh, you know? <laughs> but this axe is for the special warrior, like a uh, commando. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. general. Yeah. yeah. General. Yeah. 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 Yes. Why? Why is this one special? Bigger, heavier. Bigger, heavier, and uh, you can More kill shapes. Yeah. both sides, you know? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Yep. Yep. It's really been shaped, that whole rock over here. Double banger. Double banger. Uh, all these for you. Oh, you. You're from a big village with lots of children. Right, they all need to go to school. Mm. There's pencils and uh, like rubbers and sharpeners in there. Mm. Yeah. Patrons, head on over to the treasure chest to see what we trade with Billy, view some late night sleepless antics and a little story about Marley and the authorities. The weather's finally cleared up and the sun is out again. Uh, we're at this little town called Noro. It's actually one of the biggest towns of uh, the Solomon Islands. It's um, the shipping port for the Western Province. So there's a fair bit going on here, but not a lot. Uh, the main reason we're here is it has a Wi-Fi tower so we're able to upload and um, get reception again so it's actually been quite challenging in the Solomons getting Wi-Fi um, and it was one of the reasons that we were unsure of coming here we weren't sure how we would manage working online and everything but yeah we've actually um, seemed to manage our way through it um, okay uh, we've almost been in the Solomons for too long, so we need to extend our visas. We're off to do that today. Yoshi's mum is actually coming in a few weeks' time, so we need to be at, make sure that we're able to be here still. How is it here, Marley? How what? How many puffs a minute? A <laughs> hundred puffs a minute, that's how hot it is. <laughs> Found a little patch where we thought Marley might be able to run off the lead. 
And there's all these empty drums and we thought the drums were just a patch of old fire drums but it turns out it's all tar. <laughs> and Marley just ran straight into the tar. He's got tar. He's got tar Ooh. all over his paws. Oh. Fill it with dirt. <laughs> Get some dance moves going. <laughs> is that the technique, is it? We took old Sticky Feet for a walk around town, hoping to wear off some of the tar. Stopping at a small shop, we had many inquisitive eyes on Marley's sticky situation. We went to extend our visa today. We asked for uh, an extra three months and they gave us six. So they're like, you stay in the Solomons, you stay. <laughs> They're really nice and uh, they want us to stay. We've got a few new nicknames for Marley. We've got uh, Sticky Feet, um, Blackfoot. <laughs> We're going to end up with tar all over the boat. Like he's going to be putting his footprint everywhere for months, like until we get this out. So Yasha's trying to degrease her. I haven't really got very fast and now I'm just trying to cut it out but I have to be really careful because it's like his skin is clumped up with fur as well so I don't want to hurt him. It's going to take a really long time to get rid of this. Silly dog Marley. Oh no. You're not very smart are Good you buddy. Sticky fingers over here. Old fluffy foot. <laughs> Everything sticks to him. Trying soapy water now. Marley's having a little foot spa. Getting his little toes down. Hey, would you like a foot massage, Marley? I managed to cut a little bit out. Ah, uh, that's it there. I think it's just going to be a little bit every day because it's quite sore, I think, on him. So, yeah. Silly boy. Silly boy. Bloody oh. sticky feet. And the finished product, fresh and so clean, clean, complete with little fluffy foot's footprint. Thanks for watching another episode of Sailing Ninji, and thanks for following along on our journey and watching our channel. Yeah, thanks to everyone watching. A uh, big thank you to our patrons, as always, who make these videos possible. We've had um, a lot of patrons jump on the bandwagon recently. We have had limited Wi-Fi, so I've got a list here, so bear with me. Okay, we have Ryan, Evan, Room, Peter, Carl, Nathan, Terry, Chris H., Belden, Todd, <laughs> Robert H, Tex O'Grady, we have your children's names, we don't have Wi-Fi but we'll say their names next time. Yeah, well, welcome back aboard Tex, we know yeah. you had a few little dramas there mate, so cheers for jumping back on board. Yeah. Uh, Tony, Jeff, Richard, Chris, Benjamin and Elizabeth, thank you guys so much. So, yeah, thanks to all you frothers and everyone who's joined and people that stick with us and help Sailing Nancy to keep going it's yeah, it's really great and we don't we don't really have any internet it kind of comes and goes every couple of weeks so we're never really sure what's going on but yeah. it's really nice to come back and have a list of people to yeah that are, that are offering their support so cheers legends yeah and we really hope that you're enjoying our videos all the exclusive stuff that we put into the treasure chest just for you guys um, yeah, we put it, we're starting to put a lot of work into that, so I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, well, we figured you guys deserve a lot more than what we give you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, so each time we make these vids, we'll give a little feature vid for you guys. So, yeah. legends. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the next episode. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah. Coming up next on Sailing Nanji. Marley and I are attacked by three dogs. Brady from Delos sends us on a mission. We try a few new things for the first time. Fix things out at sea and end up here. Our videos are only made possible because of our patrons, the Sailing Nanji family. Become a patron to help keep us frothing and get Nanji further around the world. And I'm always gonna try and say that it's the last time.